Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. To Imran cries, her husband does this as she teases her mother-in-law. Today is Mother's Day and everyone has been celebrating mothers in special ways. The influence of mothers in homes and the society cannot be quantified. So people go all out to celebrate mothers at every given opportunity. Of course, the Yobachis to Imran became a mother in the year 2019 and herself with her husband, Kola Ole, have two kids, their son, Uriluwa Jeremy, and their daughter, Timitope, which is the stepdaughter of Tony Abraham. In celebration of the day, Tony Abraham shared an emotional story and also a time with her mother-in-law, where Tony was crying on her mother-in-law's laps and, and her mother-in-law was petting her. She went back in time to several years ago and reviewed an emotional story and how her mother had to make a sacrifice for herself and her siblings when she was growing up. And in our words, growing up, I was very headstrong. I remember a time where my mom could not pick me up from school because she was in another state and I was in another state leaving my dad. The person who was saying to pick me up from school this very day, bear the birth. I was not happy and I created a mild drama. I wanted my mom so bad. My dad informed mom of my actions and to my greater surprise, my mom came around a few days after to spend some time with us. And not only that, she decided to take us along with her to Ibadan. I was in Benin at the time with my dad. She made the decision so swiftly. She made the decision so swiftly because she could no longer stay without her children. It was tough commuting from Ibado to Benin. And she made up her mind to have my siblings and I be there in Ibado. Whilst my dad worked in Benin. This is a tiny fraction of the many sacrifices my mother made. A mother's love to a child can never be bought. It is so unconditional and unexplainable. To all mothers, as we celebrate this day, it is my prayer that God will continue to strengthen us and give us the grace to look after the seeds he has placed in her hands. And his parents' husband also in celebration of the day shared a short clip of Tony and his mother while honoring the two women in his life. In this short clip, his mother was pacifying Tony and she was crying playfully and like a toddler. Many people are referring to Tony Abraham as a big baby in the family. So happy Mother's Day to Tony Abraham, the mother-in-law and mother and every woman out there. Happy Mother's Day. May God bless all mothers. For other recent news on this couple, Tony Abraham and Kola Olea Jamie, please stay with us. Just a while ago, Tony Abraham, not critics, who ridiculed her husband's hard work. And the actress in an Instagram post sounded a note of warning to critics who assumed that she was richer than her husband due to her popularity. She noted that what her husband has was from his hard work and not due to her popularity. And she wrote, I don't usually do this and I'm only going to adjust this just once. And I hope this ends here. People need to stop this mentality that famous people or the more famous ones are the richest in their family, relationships or even friendships. Just because some people do not like to blow their own hands does not mean they should be seen as less or incapable. And speaking of because I won't let people talk down on my husband, who is a very hardworking man, and he's doing a lot for me and the kids. Do you know ridiculous is hard work and what it stands for? Everything he has is worked for, with his own sweat, and he deserves it. I'm the last one of my family, and you do think I'm the richest just because I'm famous, which is far from the truth. It is 2022, please. We need to do better. And stop this ill-mannered mentality. Celebrate people without trying to pitch them against one another or ridicule their hard work or give credit to another. It is so old and needs to stop. Also, in another recent news, her husband revealed that being married to a good wife would lead to progress for a man. He added that his wife, and he added that he loves his wife, his children, and his mother, but then his wife makes him the happiest. And he said, my wife is the one who makes me the happiest. They also love my kids and my mother. I said some God, my wife makes me happy. If one has a good wife or a husband, the person does not know how much God has blessed one. If one gets married to someone that is not meant for one, if someone gets married to someone that is not meant for one, there are bound to be problems. That does not mean that wife and I do not have disagreements. No relationship is perfect. The individuals involved just learn to tolerate one another. If one gets married to a good wife, what would make progress in life? And he went on that day to pray for those who were seeking for good partners in their lives. And he said, May God help those looking for life partners to choose right. People say a wife must not be richer than her husband. But if God has destined one person to be richer than the other, one is good to go. The most important thing is that they support each other 
having love for one another is the most important thing. Our leaders will choose us better if they love us. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. If you want to know more about this, couple Tony Brahma and Kala Walea Jeremy, please stay with us. This is a short but interesting biography of the couple. So Abraham is a star actress in the country and she's usually referred to as the queen of box office or the queen of comedy. She started acting in the year 2003. Some of the movies she has featured in over the years include The Therapist, The Prophetess, Fate of Alakada, Dear Afi, Small Chops, Elevator Baby, Don't Get Mad, Get Even, Made in Heaven, Two Weeks in Lagos, The Millions, Casanova. Nimbi, Damas in the Sky, The Ghost and the Child, Seven and a Half Dates, These Guys, What Just Happened, Alakada Reloaded, Hesui, Hakunde Mentally, Tattoo, London Fever, Wives of Australia Revolution, Celebrating Marriage, Okafu's Law, What Makes You Think, Loves in the Hair, Laniba Balawake, Bimini, Alakada, Shalafi, Pami, Shadow Parties, Kambili, and Day of Destiny, D.O.D., Just to mention a few of them. Tony so Abraham was someone known as Ulutoya Imaku, she was born in the Auchi part of a do state. But then when she was really young, the family moved to Ibadan, where she spent most of her early life. So in Hebram is a multiple award-winning actor and also one of the most influential in the country and one of the richest. And her husband, Kalawale Jamie, is a star Yoba actor, director and producer. He was born and raised in Ubomosho, part of your state, where he had both his primary and secondary school education. His father is said to be the popular Yoba musician at JME. And he's known to have worked on movies like Buka, Shutala Patai Jogbo, Ejalai She, you will see Biggie Gasani that Buru Jokin Jo Ekun Sumi Sumi Bai Efe, Nyokola Pastor Roko Yukun La Koko Ron Waiya San O Talam Kola, Ija Ima Jalabi Rupe Misi Ryo Jura Wala Eko Mero Rilo Wu Onome Aganga, and Omwaiye Niwa, just to mention a few of them. Apart from being an actor, producer and director, he's also a businessman. He's the founder of a film school called Ajio Maji School of Performing Arts, located in Abokucha. The capital of Ugo State is also the CEO of Kalawale Clothings, a fashion company specialized in making native wears and shoes, and he also has a large farm. So he's doing quite well for himself. And this is a little bit of all the star actors to Hebram and her husband, Kalawale at GME. We are coming to the end of this episode where to Hebram cries. She has an emotional story about her mom as she gets teased by her mother in law and her husband who consoled her. We hope you enjoyed this episode and happy Mother's Day once again to all women all over the world.